limits of functions. Let us first study that why we need to find the limits of functions. We explain it by some examples. So write a function f of x, which is equal to 2x minus 1. And we need to find its value at x is equal to 2. So we substitute x is equal to 2 in this function. And after simplification, we get 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So we have no problem to find the value of this function at x is equal to 3. Let us write another example. f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And we need to find its value at x is equal to 2. So substitute x is equal to 2 in this function. We have this thing. And now if we simplify this, we have 4 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2. And that is equal to 0 by 0, which is not a real number. So we have problem to find the value of this function by directly substituting x is equal to 2 in this function. Now we write another function. f of x is equal to 4x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Let us find the value of this function at x is equal to 1. So we substitute 1 in this function. And after simplification, we have 3 divided by 0. Anything divided by 0 is undefined. So we have problem to find the value of this function at x is equal to 1. Now we write another function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3. And we need to find the value of this function at x is equal to 3. So let us substitute x is equal to 3 in this function. So if we simplify this, we have 9 minus 9, minus 9 divided by 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0 by 0. And we have problem to find the value of this function at x is equal to 3. There are infinite number of functions whose value cannot be obtained at the given points. And that is why we need to introduce the concept of limits. So now let us represent that point x is equal to 3 on a real line. So on this side, this is 2. On this side, let us, it is 4. Now, we cannot find the value of the function at 3. So let us take a point which is very, very near to 3. The point is 2.99 on the left hand side of 3 and substitute this point in the given function. So we have 2.99, which is equal to 2.99 whole square minus 9 divided by 2.99 minus 3. And now if we simplify this, we get 5.99. And this is a number which is very near to 6. Now let us take another point, which is very, very near to 3, but it is on the right hand side of 3. So we substitute that number, which is 3.01. In the given function, we have 3.01 whole square minus 9 divided by 3.01 minus 3. And if we simplify this, we have 6.01. So this is a number which is very near to 6. We cannot find the value of this function at the point x is equal to 3, but we can find the value of this function 
at a point which is very near to 3 which may be on the left hand side of 3 or on the right hand side of 3 and now let us write another example to evaluate the value of the function f of x at x is equal to 2 we substitute this point in this function and after simplification, we get zero by zero form. It means that we cannot find the value of this function by directly substituting x is equal to two in this function. Let us represent x is equal to two on a real line. Then on the left hand side of two, there is one. And if we go from the left hand side, we have 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, and so on. So let us substitute 1.7 in this function. And when we simplify this, we get 3.7. Let us put 1.8 in this function and simplify this. Then we get 3.8. If we put 1.9, we get 3.9. If we put 1.99, we get 3.99. If we put 1.999, we get 3.999. If we put 1.9999, then we get 3.9999. So we can see there's as x approaches to 2, the value of the function f of x approaches to some number, and that number is 4, which is called limit of the function f of x as x approaches to 2. Mathematically, we write it limit x approaches to 2, f of x is equal to 4. Here we put negative sign about 2, which represent that we are taking limit of the function from the left hand side of two. Now let us see that there are values on the right hand side of two, which are three, then 2.5, 2.4, 2.3, 2.2, 2.1 and so on. So if we put 2.3, in this function and simplify this, we get 4.3. If we put 2.2 in this function and simplify this, we get 4.2. If we substitute 2.1, we get 4.1. If we put 2.01, we get 4.01. If we put 2.001, we get 4.001. If we put 2.0001, we get 4.0001. So we can see that as x approaches to 2, f of x approaches to a particular number, and that number is 4, which is called limit of this function. Mathematically, we write limit x approaches to 2, f of x is equal to 4. Here we write a plus sign about 2, which shows that we are taking the right hand limits. Now let us see the definition of limits. If we are given f of x, which is a real function, and c is any real number. Now, if x approaches to c from both left hand side and right hand side of c and as a result f of x approaches to a particular number l then l is called limit of the function f of x which we mathematically write limit x approaches to c f of x is equal to l another thing we can see from here that we can take the value of the function f of x as close to 4 as we wish by taking the value of x very, very close to 2. Similarly, from this table, we can see 
that we can take the value of f of x very, very close to four by taking the value of x very, very close to two. Please remember that the limit of a function f of x exists only if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. If left hand limit and right hand limit both are equal to L, then we will say that the limits of that function is equal to L. 